Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Ant Hill. Ah, what a lovely day for a royal fairy picnic. Nanny Plum, get the magic picnic basket ready. Uh, I can't, Your Majesty. Why not? The magic picnic basket has disappeared. You mean you lost it? Things don't just disappear. Whoa! Where's my chair gone? Nanny, I can't find my wand. There. One piano to deliver to the king. Ben, are you ready? Coming, Dad. Come on, Ben. We've got this piano to deliver to the little castle. I don't want to be late. That's right, Ben. Elves are never late. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Oh, where's my horn? Ben, you must look after your things. A good elf never loses their things. Oh, where's my piano gone? What's happening? Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum, do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No. The Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. There's my horn! <laughs> There's my wand! The ants are taking all our things. Yes, and ours too. Where are they taking it? Down to the queen ant. Nanny, I command you to have a word with this queen ant. What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff. I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <laughs> yeah. So Gaston can be your ant translator. Down you go, Nanny. Can Ben and I go too? Yes, but stay close to Nanny Plum so she can keep you safe. Hooray! I'll go too, to keep Nanny Plum safe. And I'll go, too, to keep Mr Elf safe. Ah, these tunnels could go very deep, you know. How deep? Do they go to the centre of the earth? I hope not. My feet are tired enough already. Ooh! This way! It would be very easy to get lost in these tunnels. It's a maze. I hope we remember how to get out. Don't worry. I know how to get through mazes. You take every first turning down and every third turning up. And that gets you through any maze. Oh, it's a dead end. Or is it every second turn to the left? Oh, are we lost, Mr Elf? Um. What's that sound? <laughs> ah! Ants! <laughs> That's lucky. They can show us where the Queen Ant is. Gaston, say, take us to your leader. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool! Yeehaw! Giddy up, giddy up! This 
must be where the queen ant lives. Ooh. Oh, is that the queen? Uh, yes. She's, um, big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr Elf. I'm Mrs Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. Uh, and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <coughs> but the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. <coughs> so the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. That's not rubbish. It's a fine musical instrument. I'm delivering it to the Ooh. king. It's not good to eat musical instruments. Yes, Ben. She's obviously very stupid. <laughs> Gaston, don't translate that. Uh, when I said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <coughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <coughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No! Plum. Plum. More, more, more! Oh, jelly Plum! The jelly is showing us the way out! Whoa. 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 Jelly Plum! Oh. I can hear something. What's that? Jelly Plum! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Flood! <gasps> Jerry Flood! <laughs> I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> The piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Oh, oh, I'm glad that's not my piano. Actually, Your Majesty, it is your piano. I was just delivering it to you. Oh. It's OK, Daddy. It sounds lovely. As long as you only play tunes with high notes. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Gaston goes to the 
vet. Ben! <sighs> Morning, Dad. Haven't you even started packing yet? We're going on holiday today, remember? We're not leaving for ages, Mr Elf. Please try and relax. I'll try, Mrs Elf, but you know I find holidays difficult. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <coughs> I'm taking Gaston to the vet. Do you want to come along? Yes. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, Ben. You've got to stay home and pack your holiday bag. Oh, please let me go, Dad. It's ages before we have to set off on holiday. And we'll be really quick. Gaston's just going to the vets for a checkup. OK, to the vets and straight back. No dawdling. Yes, Dad. See you later. Why is Gaston on a lead? He didn't really want to go to the vet. He's never been before. <coughs> Here we are, the vets. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. The vet is really nice. <coughs> Hi, Strawberry. We've come to see the vet. <laughs> That's my mum. She's the vet. Come in. <coughs> mum, Ben and Holly have brought Gaston for his <coughs> checkup. <coughs> Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. <coughs> Pop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Hmm, <coughs> nice healthy teeth. <coughs> Wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. <coughs> Here's a sticker. For a very brave boy. <laughs> Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done, brave boy. <laughs> oh, what's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. <laughs> We're back. And not a moment too soon. We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes. That's a super idea. No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww. Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Come on, Ben. I'll help you pack. Fairies are good at packing holiday bags, and I'm a fairy. I'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I going to pack? Hmm, probably simplest, just to pack everything. How about this ball? <laughs> you want to play, don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Catch! Well done. Gaston's great at catching. <laughs> Here, boy, catch. <laughs> Gaston, are you all right? He's had his feeler. We'll have to take him back to the vet. Ben, have you packed your holiday bag? Yes, Dad. Good. So now there's nothing to stop us setting off. We can leave as soon as we get back from the vets. Back from the vets? Uh, but, but, but... Uh... Look after that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And... Mum, Gaston's hurt himself. Oh, dear. You better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. It's a bit sore, isn't it? I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston's scratching it. 
No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. I'll just pop on this plastic collar. <laughs> now he can't scratch it. <laughs> Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. <laughs> Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. <laughs> Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. Oh, I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <laughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <laughs> oh, he's swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> Stop that, Mr L. But he's swallowed the car keys. We have to get them back. Holly, have you got your wand with you? Yes, Mr L. Good. Use magic to turn Gaston inside out. <gasps> what? I'm not sure that's a very good idea. We'll have to take Gaston back to the vet. She can get the keys out. Come on, then. Quick! Hello, Gaston. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. <laughs> What's the matter? He swallowed my car keys. Now, Gaston, let's have a look at you. Hmm... I see. Good, good. I have some very good news. Yes? Gaston's feeler is better. Eh? I can take Gaston's colour off. <laughs> Hooray! And here's a sticker for being a brave boy again. <laughs> uh, that's all really lovely and great and everything, but how do I get my car keys back? Ah, oh, that. OK, I'll see if I can find them. Let's take a look in the front end. Hmm, nothing here. Now the back end. Nothing here either. Now for the middle. I'll use the X-ray. Hold still. There they are. The keys. So how do we get them out? We let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What does that mean? I think she means wait for him to poo it out. That's right. We all just have to follow him around for a bit. <laughs> Aha! Looks like Gaston might be about to, um, go. How disgusting. But at least we'll be getting the keys back. Oh, he only did a wee. Ah, the little darling. We just have to wait for him to go in his own time. In his own time? But we don't have any more time. We're going to be late for the holiday. Did you get the keys? Um, we have to wait for nature to take its course. What does that mean? It means we have to wait for Gaston to... <coughs> <coughs> Gaston's coughing. What's wrong with him now? <coughs> the keys! Mr Elf, you're a very lucky man. Yes. Well, Gaston, you certainly deserve another Brave Boy sticker. <coughs> <laughs> Soon, Gaston will have more stickers than spots. Gaston's been through a lot. He could do with somewhere warm and nice for a good rest. He can come on holiday with us. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, but I did say Gaston couldn't come. But that was before he'd been sick. Uh, he probably needs a pet's passport. I can give him one of those. It's settled then. Gaston can come on holiday with us. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Have a lovely holiday, Ben. Keep Gaston warm. Have you got food for him? And a cushion? Yes. Bye, Gaston. And remember, I don't want to see you again for a long, long time. <laughs> Today's adventure starts 
at the meadow. Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Hello, Holly. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hi, Barnaby. Hi, Ben. Something very exciting is happening. What's that? My Uncle Redbeard is returning from the sea today. He's an elf pirate. Wow, a pirate. We're going to meet him at the river. Do you want to come along, Holly? Nanny Plum, can we go and meet the elf pirate? Why not? Hi, Dad. Oh, hello, Barnaby. Is Uncle Redbeard here? That's him now. Yo ho ho! Wow! Anchors away! Shiver me timbers! If it ain't me nephew Barnaby! <laughs> These are my friends, Ben and Holly. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Redbeard. Ha <laughs> ha! A pleasure, me hearties. And I'm Nanny Plum. A plum is a sweet fruit indeed. The honour is all mine, Missy. Oh! <laughs> For I am Redbeard, the elf pirate! Hello, Fred. Hello, Nigel. Uncle, what was it like being a pirate on the sea? It were a strange life for an elf. Long days staring at the sea, looking for boats. No one to keep me company except Polly. Polly? Yes, me faithful parrot. <laughs> this is Polly. Ooh. Peace of the night. She alone was my companion as we sailed through the endless waters. Peace of the night. The conversation must have been riveting. Peace of the night. Uh, were you an evil, nasty, bad pirate? Well, no. The thing is, it's quite hard to be a pirate when you're as small as an elf. All the other boats are so big. Oh. So you didn't do any piratey things at all? Of course I did. What would any self-respecting pirate be without treasure? Ooh. <laughs> And here's me treasure map. Wow! Now then, somewhere on this map is the hidden treasure. It's a map of the Little Kingdom. Aye, but that's just the start, Miss Shipmates. There'll be a big search with lots of clues. There's no need for a big search and a lot of old fuss. I can magic you some treasure right here. Abracadabra. Ooh. No! That's cheating! Yes! That's true, Nanny Plum. It's not as exciting. All right. Just trying to save a bit of time. Hmm. There's an X in the meadow. Is that where the treasure is? There's only one way to find out. To the meadow! Wait! We may need a spade. Pirate treasure is often buried in the ground. Ooh! <laughs> it's Fleur and Strawberry. Hello, everyone. Hello, me hearties. I'm Redbeard, the elf pirate. And this is me friend Polly. Peace of the night. Ooh. We're looking for hidden treasure. Wow. Aha. There's a riddle on the back of the map. What does it say? Roses are large. The sky is big. Mix them together and you'll know where to dig. Oh, hmm, that's confusing. Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red and the sky is blue. Mix them together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good! Very clever! Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves! Dig ho! Dig, dig ho! Dig, 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 dig! Dig ho! What's that? It's another map. That's right. 
You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Oof. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, Gaston. Well, we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? I the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Pieces of eight! Oh, goodness me! Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's all right, then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lifts up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. Let's go. <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, we're back where we started. Where is the treasure? Uncle, what does the riddle say? Ahem. Up and down and side to side, it's inside this thing I really hide. The ship goes up and down. And it goes side to side. Yes, yes the, the ship. ship! So that's where the treasure is. That's right. You worked it out. Here it is, me hearties. Oh! Thanks for your help in finding me treasure. But we're back where we started. And the treasure was here all the time. But didn't we have fun? Captain, Captain Redbeard. Redbeard. I certainly enjoyed it. I suppose it was fun, in a way. Fun is what it's all about when you're an elf pirate. And I'm an elf pirate! <laughs> <laughs> and now, I must return to the distant waters. Goodbye, Uncle Redbeard. Goodbye, Barnaby. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Hoist the mainsail, Polly! Weigh anchor! Scrub the decks! Ah, pieces of eight! Let's get the ship underway! <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a pirate! Aha! Me too! And me! And me! <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing me again! Don't forget the name! Redbeard the Elf! Pirate! Pieces of eight! 
today's adventure starts at the little castle. Granny and Grandpapa. What on earth is that? Hello, everyone. Wow, a talking card. Uh, who sent you? Granny Thistle. My mother. And I am here to invite you all to a magical party. Party, party. To get to the party, you'll need to catch the magic bus. Oh, dear. I'm always a bit worried when we go there. Granny's house is so full of magic. But don't you fairies like magic? Yes, but Granny and Grandpapa like dangerous magic. So their house isn't very child-friendly. That's one way of putting it. Hello! Ah! Magic in the elf tree. Shoo! You're invited to a magical party. Me? There must be some mistake. You are the wise old elf? Yes. You're invited to Granny Sissel's party. You'll need to catch the magic bus. Oh, dear. Hmm. This magic bus is very late. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you coming to Granny's party? Uh, yes. I seem to have been invited. I was at college with your Granny and Grandpapa a long, long time ago. Typical. You wait ages for a magic bus, then three come at once. All aboard! I don't like this. There's no driver. I don't need a driver. I'm a magic bus. Hold tight. Go up. I really don't like this. Next stop, Granny and Grandpapa's. <laughs> When we get to Granny and Grandpapa's, don't touch anything that looks magical. Yes, Mummy. Remember, Granny's magic can be a bit strong. Yes, Daddy. What about Grandpapa Thistle? Grandpapa Thistle? Oh, he's completely bonkers. Whatever you do, don't ask him about his hobbies. Grandpapa! <laughs> Last stop, Granny and Grandpapa's. <laughs> Everybody off! Ooh. Wow! A castle in the clouds! Ooh. Let's ring the bell. No, Ben. Don't touch it. Don't touch anything. I'll ring the bell. Oh, it seems to be an ordinary bell this time. Usually something jumps. Ooh. Ah. I am Surpriser the Spider. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Oh, you guessed it was me. Hello, Granny. Darlings, darlings, darlings. Hello, Granny Thistle. Hello, Ben. Welcome to my party. Ah, oh, Cedric. Hello, Millicent. Come along inside, darlings. We're going to have such fun. You've got a rainbow inside your house. Yes, rainbows are so so much better than stairs, unless the weather changes. Oh dear, looks like a storm is brewing. Oh, maybe you should think about getting some ordinary stairs one day, Mother. Ordinary stairs? What would be the fun in that? Or like a fairy cake? Mmm, these cakes are amazing. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Of course, they are magical fairy cakes. Mummy, why can't we have magic cakes like this? We don't need to do everything by magic, darling. Honestly, it's as if your parents think the magic will run out if they use it too much. Cedric, you're not eating. Will you have a fairy cake? Well, all right. <laughs> Whoa! I'm flying! Put me down! Oh, well, if you insist. Ah! Magic always leads to trouble. But you used to love magic. That was a long time ago. 
Thank goodness none of you could see me then. Oh, I think I've got some old pictures somewhere. Wise old elf, did you like magic? In those days, I wasn't the wise old elf. I was a foolish young elf. We had such fun. You simply adored magic. Yes, but that was before the incident of the monkey kittens. <gasps> the monkey kittens. What happened? I think I've got a picture of that too. No. Oh, well, another time. Now for the party games. Hooray! We still have to finish hide and seek from last time. We never found Grandpapa. He's been hiding for a year. Hiding? For a whole year? Yes, he does take the game very seriously. We'll find him. Leave it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpapa, where are you? What's that? It's a shoe tree. Wow. <laughs> Grandpapa Thistle. Grandpapa. Swimming through the air. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Grandpa, Papa, Papa. Grandpa, Papa, 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 Papa. Bless me, it's the twins. You found me at last. Grandpapa. And Holly, my dear. Did I win the game? Hello, Dad. Have you really been hiding there all year? If a game's worth playing, it's worth playing right. Hello, Victor. Cedric, old bean. This is my best friend, Ben. Delighted to meet you, Ben. Don't ask him about his hobbies. What's that? Hobbies? You want to hear about my hobbies? Uh, well... Did you know I've been doing some inventing? Yes. Last year you showed us your jam trousers. Did I? What about my custard shoes? Those too. Oh, I've taken up lots of new hobbies. Like woodwork. Sounds quite harmless. Here's a wooden chair I made. It looks surprisingly like an ordinary chair. Yes, but then I asked myself, why should a chair have legs and not be able to walk? Here, boy. It can walk. Yes, indeed. Oh! <laughs> It doesn't like being sat on. No, th that's the problem with walking chairs. And also, I've been doing some gardening. Gardening? That sounds relatively safe. I asked myself, why should a tulip have leaves? Why not hands? Or even feet? And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs. I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten? Or 23. Oh, that's enough, dear. They don't care about your silly old hobbies. Yes, I'm forgetting myself. It's your party, darling. And I've arranged a fantastic surprise. What's the surprise? I dread to think. To the top of the tower! Granny Thistle loves looking at the stars. Oh, yes. Stars are very pretty. So I asked myself, why do we have to look at the stars from down here? Why not up there in the sky? Wow! The tower's turned into a rocket. Aren't the stars beautiful, Granny? They certainly are, darling. Very nice. Uh, Dad, how do you land this thing? No idea, son. This is magic. I don't have to know what I'm doing. I may not know much about magic, but I do know how to land a rocket. Look, we're back home. And we survived the party. Thank you for landing the rocket, Cedric. My pleasure, Millicent. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Where to now? Home? No, 
Let's head to the sun and see what it's made of. Groovy. Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho oh, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh, we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now, who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da, da la la di da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Time. <laughs> Good morning, frog spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh! They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. Morning time! <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles! <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs! Wow! That's amazing! Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <laughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> where did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? 
What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, Froggy, this way. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. Crank, 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 crank. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three. Ready or not? <laughs> Found you! <laughs> Let's play another game! Hop, hop, hop! <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly! Nanny, say hello to my friends Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben! Um, hello! Good night, Froggies. Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? This one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. <sighs> do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm. They do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. <laughs> Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water, so let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, flop. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle. Did you do this? Yes. Daddy, you said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. Shoo. Ah. Uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. <laughs> Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. 
frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. Oh. Yippity doo da! <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. The dwarf mine! <laughs> Catch, Barnaby! To you, Strawberry! To you, Holly! Whoa! What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! But isn't the dwarf mine... Empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices. Whoa! That was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Like that! Oh, no! The dwarves have woken up! Woken up? Yes. Deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes. Dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning, all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. Elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed. Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Good work, chaps. Dig, Keep it going. Dig, dig, Hello. Dig, I want dig, to speak dig, to the boss. Dig, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, lads, dig, just pipe down a second, OK? Right, you were saying... I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. 
Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But... We can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no-one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. <laughs> Silence, please, everyone. Now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up and they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tea break. Tea break. OK, boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come. Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! Lots of it! Well done, lads. Keep digging. Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, oh. I think 
they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, they'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. <laughs> <laughs>